Hey everybody, Michael Stoops here again in the McGuire's Training Garage to bring you another episode of Shop Talk. And I've got a very special guest with me today, Blake Beamish. Hello. Welcome, thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you. Blake is one of our product developers, and in fact, he was the lead of the development team for the product that we're going to talk about today, and that is the Hybrid Ceramic Wash and Wax. Yes. Hybrid Ceramic Wash <laughs> and Wax. Let's be really clear on that, because I, I know when this product was being developed and as we mm -hmm. launched it, several of us here at McGuire's had a chance to play with this and kind of get to know it a little bit. And uh, in conjunction with this, the, the wash mitt that we have with this, this is kind of the closest thing that we have now to a magic trick. <laughs> um, I think it's really cool mm -hmm. stuff, okay? So kudos to you guys. But I know everybody out here is thinking, <laughs> Ceramic wash and wax, what are you, yes. out of your mind? Come on, so what can it possibly do? I'm telling you, it can do, it's crazy what it does, but I want you, Blake, to explain a little, you're probably not gonna tell us exactly how it does no. it, because proprietary information and all that kind of stuff, but what was the thought behind this? Why a ceramic wash and wax, and what does it actually do for these fine folks? Yeah, so with the launch of the hybrid ceramic wax, mm -hmm. We knew that a great product to, to coincide with that would be a wash. But how do you get that hybrid ceramic technology, that hybrid ceramic water beading protection in a wash? Uh, it's the water beading, that's right, that, that you've come to just really love and appreciate that, that incredible water beading with the super high contact angles when you're using the hybrid ceramic spray wax, the hybrid ceramic liquid wax, the detailer, you yes. get that crazy water beading. And you don't really wanna put something on top of that that may Correct. mask or kind of knock that down. I mean, you won't remove the protection, but you'll no. mask the beading. Exactly. So your plan here was a wash that would help to maintain to complement, that beading. Yes, to complement the product, okay. to keep that water beading going at its highest contact angle. Okay. But also, if you haven't used our hybrid ceramic products, it's gonna lay down that hybrid ceramic foundation for the other products to then have something to bond to and just continue to work even better and better. Okay, so that, it, now Blake's talking about using a wash mm -hmm. to lay down some of that hybrid ceramic foundation to yes. get you that water beading. And if you think that sounds a little, okay, sure. Think about the hybrid ceramic spray wax that you literally spray onto a wet surface yes. and then pretty vigorously rinse, rinse it. I mean, off. you can use a pressure washer even, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden your water beading just goes through the roof. And when that first came out, there were people thinking, wait, you want me to spray this on my car and then pressure wash it off? I just pressure washed it off. What's it gonna do for me? And then there's that crazy water beating. So some of that kind of concept or idea yes. actually works with this. Exactly, so with, with the hybrid ceramic wax and uh, asking you, the consumer, to use it in a different way than normal, that you spray it on, and then to rinse it off as you wax. We knew that we could kind of push what we could do, what we could ask you to do with a wash. And as you can see with this packaging, it does have two separate liquids. So we knew that we could ask the consumer, hey, this is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna make this as easy for you as possible. However, the water beading that you're gonna get, it, it is that hybrid ceramic promise of intense water beading action. So two, different components in the wash. Yes. Why, why can't you just mix them in together and just let these fine <laughs> folks just pour it into the bucket and go? It doesn't work like that. The, the two products, they don't want to mix in the bottle together. However, once you mix them in the bucket, they work in tandem together to give you this incredible washing and waxing experience. And this experience that Blake is talking about, I, I have to tell you, we're using the mitt that's really designed to go with this. Let's let's hold off on that for just a second. Because yes. we're, we're, we're getting into, you know what? Technology advances, technology changes all the time, which is why we could do something like the hybrid ceramic spray wax that yes. you can pressure wash off without actually pressure washing it <laughs> off, off, right? But I mean, ceramic coatings themselves, technology is advancing pretty rapidly here. And we'll, we'll get into the mitt because this is really a big part of the magic trick that we're, that we're talking about. But the shampoo and the SiO2 booster, can we call it? SiO2 boost, yes. The SiO2 boost, okay. Okay, so Blake, a, a, a bit of a unique experience when it comes to, to washing, and I, I think you'll find that more as you're actually using it. But let's talk, 
a little bit here about how we dispense this yes. into the bucket, okay? So we're talking about, really what we want you to have is a bucket that'll hold three gallons of water, okay? So three, five gallon bucket, whatever. Um, and for three gallons of water, yes. you want three ounces of the shampoo, the wash. Yes. And then a half an ounce of the SiO2 boost. Correct. And when you do that, to three gallons of water, and you use three ounces of the wash and a half an ounce of the SiO2 boost, mm -hmm. you'll run out of both at the same exactly. time. Exactly, okay. yes. And not only that, but you also get optimum performance yes. out of the package. Now, we've got this mixed up in the bucket and now we're recommending the use of the hybrid wash mitt. Yes. What, what, what is this hybrid wash mitt all about? <laughs> you got hybrid everything now, even a wash mitt. Yes. What's going on there? So the, the chemist that was working on this product, he came to us with this dual-sided wash mitt. And with it, you, as soon as you use it, it feels like a magic trick is the best way I can describe it. Yes. <laughs> yes. This, this, is, this, is, this is where the user experience really changes from any other yes. wash that you've ever used with this. Uh, and it's also where, like you just said, the, the magic kind of yeah. comes into play because mm -hmm. this this is pretty trippy. So one side of the wash mitt is designed to hold on to the soapy suds of the wash. That's this. And it, yes, the orange side. Fuzzy orange side. Color coded it to make it as simple as possible. Um, it feels like a normal wash as you, you go through, holds onto the suds, nice and smooth. Then once you flip it over to the waxing side, the gray side. That's all the magic. <laughs> It, it becomes a completely different experience. The the S, it grabs onto the SiO2 boost and it just lays it on nice and, and this is, even. Tr truly, this is where the magic kind of thing comes into play because you know we've talked for years about how microfiber, uh, not all microfibers create an equal. People ask us all the time, you know, are all microfiber towels the same? And absolutely not. No. Nothing in life is all the same, right? Yeah. So we talk about how microfiber is a, it's an engineered fiber. We make the fiber the yes. way we want it to be. And when we do that, um, we can create all kinds of different characteristics with that. And for anybody who's ever doubted that, <laughs> this, this is so bizarre that when you're washing with the wash side, like you said, Blake, it mm -hmm. feels like you're washing your car. When you flip over to this side, you have not gone back to the bucket or anything. No. You just flip over to this side and continue wiping on the paint. If you've got a dark car, you may even see yes. um, to where it looks like you're laying down wax through water, which kind of in a weird way is what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> Except it's not actually wax, it's this SiO2 boost. Yes. It is the paint protection, so the term wax kind of gets used. But you will literally see and feel a difference from one side to the other, and don't don't let it spooky or freak you out if you no. see a little bit of streaking, because when you do then rinse the car like you do when you're washing, it. It rinses away. It is really a surprising, and it's kind of fun. I mean, you probably spend more time washing your car than you need to exactly. doing it. Exactly. <laughs> Just because you almost can't wrap your head around the fact that it does change yes. that noticeably going from one side of the mitt yes. to the other. And that is because of the technology of microfiber that we've been talking about for years. This is kind of proof in the wash. Yes. So it's a really, really cool, uh, this this two part hybrid it's it's <laughs> it's it's really and for anybody that thought ceramic and a wash you've got to be crazy mm -hmm. and I know a lot of you did a lot of us did <laughs> you pulled it off man. yes this is really cool mm, thank um, you but let's talk about because we know you guys like to experiment <laughs> okay uh, and sometimes as we're developing product right here I like to try to break stuff yep. Um, and I tried to break this. Yep. <laughs> and what I did was, um, did I coin the term overboost? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. So I tried to overboost it, like like more, more pressure with the turbo. <laughs> uh, don't do that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, if you're using more boost, if you don't mm -hmm. follow that, you're going to run out of boost before you run out of water. Exactly. And we don't sell the boost separately. Correct. Um, secondly, you will find if you really overload with the boost you'll start to get this hydrophobic effect on your hands and it just gets heavier. It's just, don't do it, <laughs> okay? A lot of times we tell people, look, if you want to experiment, that's fine. You're probably not gonna hurt anything. Well, you're not going to hurt anything other than you'll run out of boost before you run out of shampoo. Correct. So if you're one of those people that likes to experiment with, with our products, we're, we're gonna ask you this time, don't, just really don't. We've already done it for you. And what we can tell you is you'll waste product. Yes. You will not run out at the same time. Correct. Your experience with it won't be as positive and you will gain literally nothing. 
Correct. It's yes. It's all downside <laughs> if you try to overboost. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so the actual act then of washing the car, kind of like the rest of our shampoos, pretty pretty normal. Yes. And and with that, we knew that we were asking asking you to to do a little something different with the application with the two separate liquids. So we wanted to make it as simple as possible. That's why we have the measuring cup with the lines on okay. there to help you uh, fill up the bucket and get the right dilution ratio. And then once you start using the product, it's a simple it's, bucket wash. It, it's like any other, well, exactly. other than flipping the mitt, yes. but you want cool surface, in the shade, all the Absolutely. same kind of things that we've always told you. It's just that initially wash with the wash side wash, of the mitt, flip, flip over, wax, and then rinse it, work around the car, dry it off and enjoy. Okay, so Blake, we've talked a lot about this, yes. this hybrid wash mitt. Is it really necessary to use this? I, it's not absolutely necessary. You can use whichever microfiber wash mitt you enjoy using now. This one will give you the best user experience and the fact that you do get that washing, flip, waxing experience well, with it. Because you guys actually went with, chose, engineered, I don't know how deep in the development this yes. was, and he's probably not even gonna bother <laughs> telling us, but um, it is very specific to the wash side and the way this Correct. side behaves with the SiO2 boost. Yes. So any other microfiber that may be on the market, we don't know what that composition is and exactly how it's gonna perform with this. And we, we tested a lot of different microfiber mm -hmm. wash mitts. They all performed very well. They all did the washing and the waxing. This is just gonna give you the maximum performance out of this two liquid system. Okay, great. Um, the water beating that you're gonna see, how long can someone expect that, that beating to remain? Or yes. Or, or should you even be expecting that to be your mm. your, your mm -hmm. metric for gauging how long your, your beatings are? Shouldn't that be from your primary protection? Exactly, so while this is, it is able to give you wax protection, mm -hmm. and it's fairly durable wax protection. But it's not it a substitute for a proper full exactly, wax. Exactly, it, it does not substitute a dedicated wax. Or a hybrid ceramic wax, we should or, probably know. Yes. <laughs> but it is a great product to boost or enhance the wax that's on there. Also, if your car is completely flat, you will get instant water beading protection on the surface. Mm -hmm. And then that's laying down a really nice foundation to then put your hybrid ceramic spray wax on without having to do the foundational layer oh, application that we recommend. pretty fantastic too. Yes. That's, that's cool, I like that. And because of the high contact angles of the beads, this is a great maintenance product for any coating yes. that may be on the market already applied to your vehicle. Correct. Awesome. Correct. Uh, where can they get this? <laughs> you can find this at your favorite auto parts store and from dot coms. So all, all the places, if you've been shopping for it online, you, you're probably gonna find it yes. in the usual place online as well. Okay. Uh, Blake, look man, thank you so much for first of all, working with the team to come up with something <laughs> that I know a lot of people out there probably thought could never actually happen, but I'm telling you this is, this really is that magic trick that, that I've been telling people for years, nothing in our bottles is magic. I may have to, <laughs> I may have to check, it's not actually magic, it's, it's science. Yes, it is science. science. It's absolutely science. Thank you for, for the product and for hanging out with me a little bit here of today. Of course. Uh, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Shop Talk. We're going to be back again sometime in the not too distant future. But between now and then, when you've gone out and you've picked up a bottle of your hybrid ceramic wash and wax, if you have any questions, get a hold of our Solutions Hub. Phone number's on the back of the bottle. You can check us on Instagram, on Facebook, on our forum at mcguiresonline.com. And of course, on YouTube, where you're probably watching this right now. <laughs> um, we're here to help, as always. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.